Hi, welcome to the For All Memory MacBook Memory Installation video. My name is Andrew and I'll be walking you through the process today. As you can see, we've got our MacBook here. The first thing you want to do is turn the computer off. Do not uh, close the lid or just hibernate it. You want to make sure you turn it completely off. After you've turned it off, make sure you unplug the power supply. And you'll just flip it over like so. You can see here is your battery compartment and the way you'll get into every part of your computer. Um, there's a lock right here and you just take a coin, a penny, quarter, whatever, stick it in the slot here and you want to turn it clockwise to the unlock position. After you've turned it, the battery will pop up a little and you can just pull it aside like this. Here are the innards of your computer. Over to this side is actually your hard drive and your memory slots are here, but there's this bracket here. You'll need a very small uh, Phillips screwdriver for this. It took me a while to find one small enough, so uh, you might have to go looking around for one. Here's what I'm using. And you'll want to loosen these three brackets. It might take some you know, uh, time to actually loosen these. Sometimes on the first time if you're replacing your memory, they're very tight. So you'll have to really spend some effort to do this. But I've done this a few times, so here we go. And it's loose, and now we just pull it out like so, and set it aside. And like I said, here's your hard drive. If you want to replace that, you can. Make sure you get the right hard drive, and you'll also need some special screwdrivers for that, um, but that will be in a future video. Here are our memory slots, and the way we do this is uh, there are clips on both of these. Here they are. And you will actually, it's more of a lever, you'll pull it all the way to the other side, and it'll pop the memory out. Now there's quite a bit of pressure that needs to be applied here. So you'll just push it over like that. And as you can see, it popped the memory out. And you just grab it like this. And there it is. Now, as you can see, there's a notch in the memory. And there's a notch in here, but it's really hard to see. So just so you know, the notch goes on the side toward, if you're replacing this module, it goes toward the middle of the MacBook. So if when you put it in, you want to line it up like this, and you're going to have to apply quite a bit of pressure to actually get this module seated. Um, if you don't apply enough pressure and you try to turn the computer on, it will give you um, an error message and it won't boot. So you need to make sure that you've applied enough pressure. If, that's, if you're getting that after you've installed memory, that's probably the cause. I usually like to hold it like this with my thumbs back here, and I just put a lot of pressure and I push it into the slot. You want to apply equal pressure on both sides. Make sure it's installed. So there you go. It's installed. And if you Generally, you'll buy two modules at the same time, and you can do that. You'll replace both modules. Once you've got both modules in, you'll just line this up. And you will screw it back in. Like I said, these are really small, and they're pretty difficult, but with some practice, you can do it, and that's it. After that, you want to get your battery again, find this interface, goes right there, and just slide it in, push it down, hold it down, use your penny again, slide that back into the locked position, and you're good to go. This has been a For All Memory MacBook Memory installation video. Thank you.